Now you've heard the saying that less is more, but is this true when we're processing our photographs? I want to show you this example. I turned this into an exhibition quality print with just one global curve. Let me show you how I did that. So to start with, I've brought this file into Raw Digger so we can look at the exposure. And what I want you to see is even though we're in flat light of open shade, I've used the full dynamic range of the sensor. Our histogram is pushed all the way to the right. We're not overexposed though, as you can see here. And even at that full exposed to the right in open shade, there's some spots here in the shadows that haven't gotten full exposure. With any more exposure, I would have started to lose detail in the tree and any less, and I would have lost more of this shadow detail. The light and the latitude of the sensor just came together perfectly here. And as a result of that, when I bring this into Adobe Camera Raw, I can just leave it as shot and I'm not going to adjust any of these sliders. I'm just going to open up the image. So the processing I did on this was pretty straightforward. The first thing is we need to get this into black and white and we've got that built in here, three different versions of black and white. If we go to our channels menu, we can see what this looks like in red, in green or through the blue filter. And looking through these, I decided that the blue channel made the foliage in the background drop out the way I wanted to more than the other two. So what I did is I copied that layer and pasted it as a new layer. And what I have here is that blue channel pasted into there. So that's how I converted it to black and white. So the one global adjustment I've made on this photograph is a curve and I've put four points and you can see from here there, I've moved them with a lot of precision. It's just some subtle movement. These two points up here are making the highlights a little bit brighter to achieve the look I wanted on the print to bring them closer to white. And then I'm just controlling what happened to the shadows after moving those two with those two points and making this foliage in the background that's part of the shadow, the right tone where it's dark, but yet I can still see into it and reveal some of that detail. And yeah, there are two other layers on here. These are dodging and burn layers. So I'm going to show you that's just affecting a very small area. I'm only working on part of that trunk with that layer. And then this, after I worked it up, I saw it was just a little bit dark up in here on those branches. So I just lighten those up, but really, even if I leave those off, I've got a really nice photograph. Those are just fine tuning. The main control was this one curve. You can see, I didn't move my sliders all over in raw. I didn't throw on a ton of layers in here. One curve used with great precision and just that little bit of dodging and burning. Now, part of what made this work was I was pre-visualizing what the final print would look like. What that means is I was thinking ahead in my mind's eye and seeing beyond what the photograph actually looked like in color to what that final print would look like in black and white. And looking at the light, I saw this is going to work really well with the camera and this is going to give me this look I want. And it just all came together in my head that this is what was possible if I just pointed my camera in the right direction and click the shutter. Now I'd be lying to you if I told you that all my photographs work out this easily and I always get it right in camera, but it's something I strive for because I find that the closer I get it to right in camera, the more richness, the more vibrance, the more delicacy I can hold, the less I'm forcing it and trying to fix it. And the more I'm just bringing out the beauty that's already there and seeking that better result influences when I'll photograph and what I'll photograph as I seek out times of the day or certain types of light that's really going to bring out the most in the subject. There's so much more we could talk about on this topic, but the takeaway from today is that if you take the time to get things working together, you can make a really amazing photograph with very minimal processing. If you like this video and you want to help me out, click that like button and help me work the algorithm so more people see this video and then click that bell button for notifications. And every time I post a new video, you'll see that. And until then, check me out on craftingphotographs.com. I'm Rich Sealing. Looking forward to next time.